Deborah Lee Baldwin, author of Designing with Succulents, Succulent Container Gardens, and Succulent Simplified. In this video, I'll share my secret to pairing succulents with pots so they look perfect together. You can also find this info at DebraLeeBaldwin.com. Hi, I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin at Oasis Water Efficient Gardens near San Diego. It's a succulent specialty nursery. And my friend Pat Roach, Roach PK on Instagram, is a hobbyist potter. She's made this pot really cool glazes to pair with some of the plants here. And it's just asking for a cascader. So let's try it. Now the, it's cute with, with this Athona, um, but the yellow of the flowers is a little too bright. The green of the leaves is not quite the right green. So let's keep going. You know, anything works, but we want a wow. Is that an OMG or what? What makes this work? It's the, the bronzy rust color of the glaze with that same color in the stems and look at the yellow in the glaze with the yellow variegation on the leaves of this Portulacaria afra variegata. Plus it's a pendant plant. It'll cascade over time. So this is the one to beat. No, too green. And too messy. Okay. So the Portulacaria afra is our choice. Mm -hmm. Take it along the shelves and look at how that blue-green pops when you get that next to that. And then you come down here and you see the orangey tones. And then here we're getting into some silver. That works, but maybe not as well. And then you get into more of the true greens. And no, it's asking for more of a blue-green. Now that's a wow. That plant is just begging to hop into that pot. Okay. Now we get into more of the pinks and purples and yellows. It doesn't work at all. It's a very prized little aloe. It's aloe castellonie, if <laughs> I'm saying that right. But look at how the markings on the leaves go with the pot and the colors go really well with it too. And that's a $15 plant, but it would be showcased perfectly in that pot. Adramiscus cristatus has the right green and it's got some of the orange in those little aerial roots in the center of the plant. And I could see maybe doing a pot full of three of those. So what would you choose? Now, sometimes you just want a circular arrangement. Sometimes you want a cascader, but this pot is asking a sleek, sophisticated look plus a texture repetition. The all, okay, so the one thing that doesn't work is it's a little small. It's not quite in scale with the pot as I'd like, but it'll grow. And I think in a few months, it's gonna be the perfect presentation. Uh, Aloe Swordfish is the cultivar name. And this pot really interests me because it's got that rough texture. So how are we gonna know what it goes with? Well, let's walk it down the aisle of plants and see what pops. Now see, you can see some of the yellow of it coming out there. That's interesting. But you know, I don't think this texture is working with these Echeverias and Cedavarias. So we're getting into the Crassulas now and the Portulacaria Afra. I want it to sing. I want it to, to jump out like a real amazing pairing. Like that! There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you see that? Suddenly it works. Suddenly, suddenly the pot has found its plant. Now these are a little small. I would like these Kalanchoes to be a little bit larger, but there's something about that fuzzy texture on those Kalanchoes and the colors that's really working with the pots. So let's keep going down the aisle. See what else we find. You see how that doesn't work? That green doesn't really work. That works a little bit better with it, Peperomia. The textures are fun with this pot. Very easy to overlook and just focus on color, but texture is very important. 
And here we go. Look at that. I found these Kalankoe, these brownish gold Kalankoe's with a fuzzy texture in the right size. And there we go. We've got our pairing. This is not rocket science. We're just going to pop that right out of its pot. And you can see that this plant, like so many nursery plants, is um, just a lot of cuttings. Potting so that fill in. And then all I need is top dressing. The cuttings kind of fell open and they left a gap. Plain dirt would have made it the whole composition look unfinished. But when you add the top dressing, it looks pretty good. There you go. And I want it, the crown of the plant, just level with the top of the pot. There we go. A level platform for what I'm potting. It's, it's a plant you don't hear very much about, Adramiscus, but what could be simpler? You know, a one type of plant to a pot pairing. This is the Kalankoe tomentosa. This is teddy bear. The regular Kalankoe tomentosa is a silvery blue. Just dropped it right in. So that's something to remember if you're a potter. How are people going to plant your pot? There's also chocolate soldier. So this is a crested Myrtillo cactus. It does have spines. Plugging the hole in the bottom with just a little piece of paper towel. And let's give it some pumice because crests are especially sensitive to overwatering. Also, pumice gives you a white background for your glass. So the color of the glass stays true. So rather than looking through glass and seeing dirt, you're seeing um, white. This is, this is very cool, crushed tumble glass, because it's, it's all recycled. The plant is perfect for the scale of the pot. The pot itself is earth tones. It's, it's sort of a nondescript, beige-ish gray color with an interesting texture. And then you pair it with the right succulent, it's a phenomenal art piece. It'll look good, I'm guessing, for a couple of years. We'll just water it in and the roots will all settle happily together. 